All right, we've got uh, Max in Seattle is a theist, uh, pronouns are he, him, who believes that minds aren't limited to brains and can support it. So this is awesome. How can you demonstrate a mind absent a brain? Uh, via communication. I believe in a, uh, a intelligent entity is communicating with you. Uh, your best assumption is that it has a mind and is, uh, that, that's, that's probably my, the best way to describe it. Does that work? Okay. So the problem is that you haven't demonstrated that that is a mind absent a brain. Uh, so you're saying well, if, if you can detect when somebody's communicating, for example, are you familiar? I'm assuming with the Turing test. Correct. So would a computer that passes the Turing test, would you say that it has a mind? Uh, a type of mind. I'm not sure that it's the same mind that we have. I think computers think like computers and not like, uh, not like we do. So it's hard to really say for sure what kind of mind or if it is a mind. It's kind of a black box as, as of right now. Sure. So you're, you're talking about computers as if they have a mind that's different or whatever else. Uh, wouldn't it also be worth addressing that a computer is a brain, but different? Um, maybe, I mean, it's not wetware, so there's a little, uh, you well, know, I, I'm not, I'm not in any way suggesting that the, the, uh, biological brain in my head is the only thing that would ever qualify as a brain or could ever potentially produce a mind. Um, I, sure. I would, I have no problem with the notion that a computer has a brain like thing that can produce a mind like thing. Potentially. I'm just not convinced it's there. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, well, I, I think, so I know that this is a Colin show about theism, so let me give you a definition for the God that I have, and maybe that can get yeah. us closer to where I'm trying to go with this. Cool. So for me, um, my definition of God is God is a feeling, sometimes described as being in the spirit. That's basically uh, as far as I'll go with it. If God is a feeling that we are able to have, it is distinct from... Uh, emotion i think ecstasy is probably a good way to define it but uh I, emotions are involved in it but it's not limited to just emotion right so so max you're not talking about a god that exists as a thinking agent separate from humans mm, mm, not specifically no i don't think it's I, I believe that it's something that we're able to inhabit. It's a, I, I effectively think it is a larger mind that we are able to inhabit. Um, that's okay. probably I'm, the best. I'm trying to under, so, so I'm trying to understand this because you have a, a, a definition of God that is, it is not consistent with the classical theism God or Correct. You know, the God of Christianity or any of that stuff. So if, if your definition of God is a feeling that we have, what makes it a God? Because I can have lots of feelings and I don't feel the need to call any of them God, nor do I think it is right, considering the history of the word God, to call a feeling that I had God. And if the feeling goes away, that means God goes away. So what is it about a feeling that makes it a God? Um, I think it's that it delivers things to you that cannot be delivered to you by your own mind. No, 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 Max. If I'm having a feeling, how is that not sure. my own mind? Uh, well, so <laughs> I know that you're going to give me a uh, shit for being a stoner. Uh, if I go into this, but um, I'm a stoner. I, I'm asking a question. The question is, you just said that it the, this feeling gives you something that you can't get from your own mind. But the feeling is sure. a product of my mind. What else oh, is? I'm, I mean, yeah, I don't. I, I don't accept that feelings are only able to come from your own personal mind. So you think that I have feelings that come from not my mind? Right. Where's the evidence for that? Okay, so um, I. But this is why I said you're coming sooner. Um, I believe that I am have mind. And that minds are not limited to brain. John, uh, Max, and when you sorry. Come in, there was... Max, Max sure. I, don't, I don't see the need. I don't understand why we would need to go into whether or not plants have a mind. 
because the question I had was, you think that I have feelings that aren't coming from my mind, and I want to know where are they coming from and how do you know? Oh, I, I are, don't think unless, you are because... unless, 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 Max, are you suggesting that the feelings that I'm having come from plants? Uh, yes, I believe that the, the mind of the plant is able to communicate with you through feeling, emotion, visual, uh, and pretty much any sense that you have. It can communicate with you through. Okay, but isn't that just you another think... claim and not a not evidence? Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. I, I was saying, isn't that just another claim, though, and not actually like evidence for the what you're putting forward? Well, I, I think if you actually do interact with the plant and it communicates with you, that's when you know. But I, I have lots of plants. I'm surrounded by plants. No plants ever communicated with me. Right. So uh, when you ingest certain plants, I believe that they, they present themselves to you. They open up a that you can verify. But through the communication with that plant. That's and communicating with you through via your nervous system and via chemical, that those are actually communications that verify the mind of the plant. So I, I don't it really get... communicate the same way that we do, but it does communicate. I don't Hang see on, that. that's a communication though, because what when, when I smoke weed and I get high, what's happening is that THC <laughs> binds with receptors in my brain doing what the neurochemicals that are naturally in my brain also can do and produce just on a level that they can't do on their own. So it's not communication in any, I, I would not, I would need something more to see that as communication rather only, than yeah, chemically sure. altering my brain state. Not, not only that, Max, but when I ingest a plant, it's dead. Are you suggesting that dead plants can communicate with me? Uh, yes, I do believe that. So, because they're not can dead people can dead people communicate with me, or just dead plants? Well, I and I'm not sure. I've never eaten a dead person, so I can't tell you whether or not those what it does. That, but you've you know, eaten dead animals, you sure. right? You've eaten dead animals. Do you think they're communicating with yeah. you? See, yeah. Okay. Wh what makes you think? Yeah. What makes you think that a dead animal is communicating with you, and what sort of communication have you detected that we can verify? Uh, well, so I think the uh, I, I, so I'm actually the second one is more it's more it's harder for me. But if I can verify the communication, I guess you only can verify that communication within yourself. Uh, if I no sir no 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 Max. We do sure, not sure. verify things merely within ourselves. That is not how sound epistemology works. That's how deception works. What communication what? are you, what communication have you received from a dead animal or a dead plant? And how did you determine that it was actually a communication from that dead item? Uh, it's delivered uh, images and feeling. I mean, it's synesthetic, right? So these feelings are Max? embedded within the images. Max, yeah. If I if I eat a piece of cheese, no, hang on. If I eat a piece of chicken, and I happen to see uh, an image of sparkling lights, how do I tell the difference between the chicken communicated with me as one, my brain? did something after eating the chicken that that gave me that image and the chicken itself and the chicken's mind had nothing to do with it or three there's some chemical substance that made my brain come up with that image but it's not a communication from the chicken how do you tell the difference between those three uh well, so um Look, I'm not trying. I'm not going to. I'm not trying to deflect from your question at all. Um, and yet you are. Maybe the best. Well, I'm not actually. I, I'm going to address it, but I, I. I don't think I can give you a straight. It's one of. I can't. I don't. I can't answer it in the A, B, or C because I. I along with not believing that minds are limited, didn't, to brain, so, I also see, don't Max, that communication Max, is limited. Max, to, here, here's the thing. You don't listen. Not only did I not ask you to tell me whether it's A, B, or C, all I asked you was. How, how can you determine. tell yeah. the difference between those? Because if you can't tell the difference between those, then you're admitting you have no reason to think that the fucking chicken is communicating with you. Yeah, 
uh, I how would I determine that? I guess the best way for me to determine that is does it pro- does it produce things that I cannot produce myself? That would be. The how do you know what you can or can't produce yourself? Uh, if I, yeah, <laughs> based on whether or not it's something that I have ever seen or will ever see. Oh, I so anytime, I, anytime you see something new, you presume that it's not something you could have come up with, but it's it's a dead chicken or dead animal talking to you. Well, it's certainly it's it's something that I haven't come up with, and so I know it's not being generated by me. No, have you ever had an original thought that. ever that you don't think came from a dead plant or animal ingestion? No, I don't think so. I think uh, okay. neurotransmitters are. I'd generated prefer to talk that. to people with original thoughts, but go ahead, Arden. I, I was just going to say, you know, you're saying how, like, you, you can't demonstrate it, but that that's, like, the most important part of this, right? Like, until then, all we have is you saying, well, I don't believe that communication is limited in this way. I don't believe that minds are limited in this way. And that's cool. You're entitled to believe whatever the fuck you want. I just, the whole point of the show is to try to give us compelling reasons to believe in a god or gods and it seemed like the direction you were going was well if a mind can doesn't have to be tied to a body then maybe a god like mine could exist but so far we're now talking about communicating with dead animals and plants by like smoking them and eating them that i, I i'm just yeah. I, i'm really lost at what what the point is here uh well i, I mean i was trying to get something and then matt would ask me a question that would take me in a different direction. I I guess basically I just don't believe that language is limited to uh, small mouth noises. See, but also don't Max, this it. is the same problem. You don't believe, and that's yeah, cool. Oh, don't you don't right, believe, right. and that's cool. But can you right. show us that communicate? Can can yeah, you yeah, give well, show so, us an evidence of what you're saying? No. Here, what literally just a minute ago, Max, you said you don't think language is limited to small mouth noises. Did either myself or Arden at any point in this entire conversation suggest that language is limited to small mouth noises? No, but I then why the fuck did you say that? Because I was trying to go down a path that I think would have would have illuminated this. But I, I mean, how can it possibly? Can. How can it possibly illuminate this to begin by denying something that neither of us said or implied? Do you think? Do you think, Max, that I believe language is limited to small mouth noises? No, no, I don't. Then why the fuck would you ever say that? So. The, 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 the direction I was going to try and go with this is if you inter, if you're if you and Arden are in a room alone, for instance, right, and you are communicating with each other, how would anybody else verify that you two are communicating? We could record it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that we have a way to record thoughts per se yet that would that would make that why would you useful? Why would you need to record thoughts? Because I think the thoughts are coming from an external source, not our own mind. Yes, you, you think that. We're asking. So, so let me let me be really clear here, Max. It says here from the call screener, Max, yes. he, him, Seattle, theist. I believe that minds are not limited to brain to brains, and I think I can support it. We're asking you to fucking support it. I no longer give a fuck what you think. So don't tell me what you think. Tell me how you support sure. it. Yeah, I tried to go down four different paths, and they've all been cut off. But you know, that's something no, the call screener no. added that I didn't add, so I, I don't, I can't really, uh, you know, I, I thought I could support it if you were willing to go down a certain path with me, but you guys have wanted to not go down that path. So, it's so. not that we haven't wanted to go down the path. We've been begging for you to go down the path, and you have failed to do so. You've you've brought up irrelevant things like it's smoking plants and eating animals and somehow community that makes it communicating with the dead that that's not supporting your your point yeah those Here, here's the thing communicate with your, with your chemicals chemical no, 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 communication no, no. is a let's say you and i uh are are over at a friend's house in a place where recreational marijuana is legal and like, yeah. you and i smoke the same bowl sure so it came from the same plant 
Yeah. Are we going to get the same communication? Uh, no, I mean, if no. I were sitting and talking to you in one instance versus another instance, I'm not sure that we would have the same communication either, though. Yeah. No, no, no. This isn't two instances. So the plant has, are, does the plant want to talk to you? Yeah, I believe it does. Yeah. Okay. So the plant has an intended message for you, right? Correct. Can the plant understand us when we talk to it? Seemingly, yeah. Okay. So let's put a plant in the room and you and I will both sit there and we'll both say, please plant, tell us the important message that you have for us. And we'll do this constantly. And then we'll harvest the plant, slide it up. Are we going to get the same message from the plant? Uh, well, no, because in the initial condition, you're communicating with it through language that we understand, like, you know, small mouth noises, writing, whatever. Uh, in the second instance, you're communicating with it through a language that it better understands, which is chemical communication. The question, Max, see, wow, are you high right now? No. Okay. So you think the plant wants to convey a message to us, correct? Correct. And you think that the plant communicates this message through the chemical process of ingesting the dead plant. And it's acting on your nervous system, yeah. And yet, you think that when the plant communicates with, uh, with us, you and I will get different messages. Why can't the plant give us the same message? Because I can talk to... 2,191 people or 2,190 people right now, and I give them all the same message. Oh, I believe it can. I didn't say it couldn't. I just So I just said that why is it when I... Okay, so if you and I both ingest the plant and we don't mm -hmm. consistently get the same message, what information, did, what does that tell us? Uh, either we weren't, well, it could tell us a number of things. I mean, uh, if we're not asking the same question, if we're not, if the plant has different intended messages for you than it does for me, there's a whole number No, sir. Of, uh, I mean, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You said the plant has an important message to convey to us. If I have an important I, I message, to, if I have an important confirm. message, if I have an important message to convey to you and Arden, and I'm talking to both of you now, then you guys can't mm -hmm. get different messages, right? Uh, well, the language we would use to, 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 to convey those might be different. But I believe okay. the, the, okay. uh, uh, Max, the meaning would be the same. Max, five people sure. sitting in a room smoking a bowl. They all think the yep. plant's talking to them, and they all get different messages. Who's right? Uh, all of them. No, oh, go. F I, I'm done. I just I think it's fascinating that pot plants went through billions of years of evolution, you know, successfully reproducing from every organism from the very first, very first, uh, uh, you know, pseudo organisms deep in the rocks in the earth. They did all of this reproducing, consistently trying to just just live another day. And what they wanted the whole time was for someone to grind it up and smoke it so someone could finally communicate with it. <laughs> fascinating. I, I do think, yeah, I think it is fascinating. And I, I was being facetious. I, I think it's the most it's ridiculous thing I've it's heard It's literally in my one life. of the stupidest fucking ideas I've ever heard, that something went through billions of years of evolution just waiting to be ground up and smoked so it could convey different messages to different people. And you know, you know what message weed conveys to me after all those billions of years of evolution? It conveys, I just want to sit on the couch and eat junk food. Why, why did well, every organism for billions of years lead up just to tell me that I should have some more Doritos tonight. Like, what is the? Come on, man. You, I actually, I'm actually not I mean, sure I believe that you're serious. Limited, if, I mean, if that's the limit of what that I had to telling you, I mean, that's, 
I don't know. What to tell oh, it's just I mean, right. I'm just too limited and stupid, right? It's it's definitely just me, no, and not no, no, the no, fact, no. and not the fact that Pod is known for giving people the motivation to eat junk food. So it's just me. It's just me that I'm limited. That the plant is that's all I get out of it. No, okay. no, I'm not saying that. I think I think if you ingest more, that wouldn't be the case. I think Dude, if you I've more, smoked so much fucking pot since I was 15 years old, and I'm gonna actually, tell you, that's about all it does. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, it's all it's done know. to I, everyone I, I've ever smoked with. You know what's you know what's not interesting at all, Max. This call. Goodbye. <sighs> you are the shallowest bong. Goodbye. <laughs> I just... Uh, I I mean, I'll, I'll give him credit where credit's due. I have never heard that one before. It's, it's, it's so strange. I can appreciate... See, here's the thing. Before we get to the, the last couple calls today, uh, let me rewind for a second. Hey, Arden, I have this idea. It's uh, It's a little weird. So okay. bear with me for just a second. Um, I think that plants communicate. Oh, wait. No, that's not where this started. It started with, I think that minds can exist outside of a brain, and I can demonstrate it. And I'm going to demonstrate it by asserting that I believe plants have a mind, uh, even though they don't have a brain, and that plants communicate with you. So in a, it's a little weird. I know that normally we think of communication as, Two thinking agents finding a way to convey a message clearly to each other. But plants, they really just need to be dried out, ground up, and ingested, and then they will chemically convey this information to you. But it's going to be a different message to different people at different times. What would you call it if someone conveyed a, an inconsistent message to different people at different times. I would say that is arguably not communication. Yeah. The purpose, so the, the reason I asked about the Turing test, um, how about you don't tell me to move on, Eric? I'll move on when I, well, here, enjoy your time out. Um, the Turing test was something proposed by Alan Turing to be able to tell whether or not an, an artificial intelligence has reached basically the level of self-awareness or the ability to communicate uh, in such a way. And there are flaws with the Turing test. The Turing test initially, and I know somebody's going to come in and, and correct stuff. I'm, I'm giving a, a, a simple overview. And that is that the, the measure is whether or not you are convinced that you're talking to a human. If you, if you're like, in a chat bot and you're chatting up and you're chatting with chat GPT, um, the measure was kind of like, can it fool a human? That's no longer the measure. That's no longer a good measure because we are too fucking stupid. And it's really easy to fool a human, um, especially given what we have now. But yeah, communication is all about conveying an intended message. Um, I get it. Max likes to get high. As long as it's not negatively impacting your life, Max, I bless you. Go forward in a legal sense and enjoy the plants that you think are conveying you messages. But until you can come up with a way to show and demonstrate the difference between a plant conveying a message to you and you just being high and interpreting what your brain does as a message from the planet, you have no argument. Yeah. The sad thing is, you know, if you want to talk about the way plants communicate, you, there, I, I'd be, I wouldn't really call it communication personally, but, you know, plants do respond to their environment in ways that are really interesting and that like, it's almost like communication in a way. But I've never never heard anyone assert that uh smoking it is experiencing its mind you know what uh, anyway. i'd love to do what i'd love to get max to to give me a way to test this on my own i know what i'm doing later tonight I'm <laughs> yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna test it but i think max probably thinks that the delta eight that i can get my hands on uh that that um 
Go ahead. You do it because we're going to the same place because we share the brain. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, I was going to say we should test it tonight. And what we should do is, you know, we're we're enjoying our Delta legal Delta eight stuff. We should both hit off the same vape before the Zoom call. And you people who join the Zoom call will get to know if the plant is communicating at least somewhat consistently with the two of us. I, I know last night we enjoyed some Delta eight and uh, it did not communicate with us the same. I got tired way faster than you did the plant told me to go the fuck to sleep yep hey it's jimmy snow here i'm the executive producer on the line with a fun fact did you know 100 percent of the hosts of this channel enjoy eating it's true and if you would like to help contribute to their ongoing addiction you can do so by going over to patreon or becoming a channel member there are show specific host specific tiers those are awesome but also you can leave a super thanks with a special little highlighted comment you can like comment and subscribe all of those will help fill our our, our widow widow bellies by the way, check out some of these, this content over here. <laughs> Algorithm, what next?